All right, so you've signed in to this instance of Discovery. You can check your account if you want to, see what kind of holds you have, things like that. And uh, your instructor wants you to find a book on a topic, but you can't come to the library. You need an electronic book, and your instructor says that's okay. You can search. This is going to bring up everything that the library has on global warming. So going down the facets on the left hand side, you can say, OK, yes, I want things held by Shelton State Community College, not by libraries worldwide. And the format that I'm looking for is ebook. This will limit your results to things that are viewable as ebooks. As you can see, there's a little button with every title where you can view the ebook. Our ebooks come from two. Ooh, well, it's good that you see this. I clicked on that ebook. It, our ebooks come from two resources. One is the Alabama Virtual Library. This is an Alabama Virtual Library book. For some reason, we don't have access. But there are 298 options for ebooks. So let's see if we can find another one. Here's one from Gail on global warming, and the whole item is available here. Now, this is through the Alabama Virtual Library. Uh, if you're in the state of Alabama, you should have you should just be able to go right through and see these items. Uh, but if you're not in the state of Alabama, hit me up, uh, and we will get you an AVL login and password. You need to email me from your Shelton account and then you'll be able to sign into the AVL. It's good if you're going to use an AB AVL book to have the AVL open in another tab. Let me show you. And you can see over here, if you don't have a green check mark, it's not going to let you click through to those items. Also, if you aren't logged in here and you are searching and an ebook comes up that we own, then you're going to have to sign in using your Shel My Shelton username and password. It'll just take you to the My Shelton login, and once you log in, it'll redirect you back to the ebook that you're looking for. If you have any problems or concerns or issues, please don't hesitate to call or email the library, and we'll help you.